Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from PhoneBunch and today we will be benchmarking the Lava Iris 406Q based on the Snapdragon 200 quad core processor with 1 GB of RAM. Let's have a detailed look at the hardware specifications. You can see the model number right up top, it's Iris 406Q running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean with a 4 inch WVGA display that's 480 by 800 pixels. It's an ARM V7 based processor and you can see it's a quad core processor from right there. And it has the Adreno 302 GPU. It's showing 305 as a board can take that GPU as well. So you have complete 1 GB of RAM that's available to the system. That's 1024 MB. You have a 5 megapixel fixed focus camera, which is capable of recording 720p video, as well as a VGA front facing unit. You have a 1700 mAh battery, which is good at this price point. And then you have several sensors, most of which seem disabled. But your accelerometer, light sensor and proximity sensor are working fine, which you can see from right there. So let's start with the benchmarks. First we are going to run the Antutu benchmark. We have fast forward all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. So you can see that the results have loaded and we got an excellent score of 16448, which is the highest score in this segment and just a little shy of even the Moto G. Next up we are going to run the Quadrant benchmark. Full benchmark here as well. Now let's submit the score to get a comparison chart going. So you can see the score right there. It's 8201. One of the highest scores that we have got. And it's close to the Moto G in fact. Which is available for about rupees 14,000. Now we are going to run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will give us an FPS score. So you got 58.5 FPS. This is one of the highest scores that we have got. In this and even the higher price segment, that's about to be 15,000. Now we are running the Velamo HTML5 chapter. It will run Sun Spider as well as V8 benchmark suit. So we got a whopping score of 2037. That's excellent, even higher than the Moto G. Again. Now we are running the metal chapter of Velamo. It will test the pricing capabilities. We got a score of 470. Now this is a bit lower and actually it's quite near the scores of the Sony Xperia even which got 474. Now we are running Linpack, we got a score of 85 on the single thread test. Let's run the multi thread test, we got a score of 227. Well it's again near to the Moto G in these scores. Now we are doing the multi touch test. So I have 4 fingers but only 2 are detected. So it's a 2 point multi touch display. Well folks that was the benchmarking review, we found that it's one of the best performing phones in this and even higher price segment. However, the display has some contrast issues. The viewing angles are not good. We will be definitely testing out that camera right there. But in terms of general performance also, the device performs quite well. We will be doing the gaming review quite soon. So stay tuned. Till then you can watch its unboxing from right here as well as the benchmarks and unboxing of the Lava Iris 450 color. We will be back with more. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and share the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.